Hi, Community Christian. Hi, kids. Happy October. Can you believe it's October? Uh, Miss Debbie and I were trying to come up with a good lesson for the story of the week. And since we live in this crazy world where people are just not being nice to each other like they should, we thought a good story would be the Good Samaritan. So the story for this week is the Good Samaritan. Over in the Holy Land, so many years ago, a merchant from Jerusalem went down to Jericho. He started out one lovely morn as dawn began to break. His little donkey carried all the things he had to take. The trip was rather pleasant as they went down their way. The merchant thought of all the things that he would do that day. He had some goods to trade and sell and many things to buy. He hoped to get to Jericho before the night drew nigh. But little did the merchant know that farther down the road, a band of robbers eyed with greed that little donkey's load. Alert with evil hearts, they watched and waited till at last the unsuspecting merchant and his beast were walking past. The leader of the bandits gave a terrifying shout, and with this sign, the thugs emerged and suddenly jumped out. With great big clubs, they beat the man, they beat him till he bled, then took his donkey, stole his goods, and left him almost dead. A silence settled over all, the merchant was alone. He lay there suffering by the road, and no one heard him moan. To weaken days to help himself, all he could do was wait. Would no one come along to help before it was too late? But down the road there came a man, and he was drawing near. At last the bleeding merchant thought that help was really here. It was a priest in purple robes hands folded as in prayer. A priest would help the wounded man. A priest would surely care. His shuffling footsteps on the road produced the only sound. While silent was the wounded man, so helpless on the ground. The priest was busy praying. His eyes were both shut tight. But one eye chanced to open and saw the sorry sight. Oh, what a shame, the priest observed. I cannot stop today or I'll be late for my service. I must be on my way. I'm sure that someone will come soon, so I'll just let him lie. And carefully and quietly, he tiptoed right on by. The merchant was alone again. Was this to be the end? But then another man came down the road and round the bend. He was a Levite who helped the priest. He sure would understand that here and now he ought to stop and lend a helping hand. The Levite halted in his tracks. His eyes grew very wide. His heart was warm with pity and he felt a pain inside. He stood there undecided. He knew he ought to stay, but what he really wanted was to turn and run away. This truly is a horrid sight, the troubled Levite said. I really do believe he ought to be at home in bed. But I'm no doctor, mercy me. I might do something wrong. Besides, I feel quite sick myself. I better run along. The day was drawing to an end. The night was coming on. The merchant now would surely die, for every hope was gone. But as the shadows of the night displaced the light of day, another man came down the road by which the merchant lay. This man was from Samaria. His people long had been despised and hated by the merchant and all his countrymen. The chance that this Samaritan would help was very slim. He surely wouldn't want to help 
a man who hated him. But as he came around the bend, he stopped with great surprise. For when he saw the merchant there, he hardly could believe his eyes. How can it be this wounded man is out here all alone? I would have come here sooner, friend, if I had only known. And then the kind Samaritan got down upon his knee. He tried the very best he could to help his enemy. He gently bound each bloody wound and tried to ease the pain. Oh, surely it would be too bad if he had helped in vain. But when he'd given all the help that he knew how to give, he saw that now without a doubt, the wounded man would live. He gently placed the merchant on his donkey's back and then the two men and the donkey small went down the road again. They had to travel very slow. It was a lonely night. At last this kind Samaritan beheld a welcome sight. He saw a warm and cozy inn beside the road ahead. He took the merchant to the inn and put him right to bed. Before the good Samaritan went on along his way, he paid the keeper of the inn to let the merchant stay. Be sure to take good care of him, he said, for I intend to pay in full when I return for everything you spend. Now, asked our Lord, who helped his fellow man in every way he could? Who was the one who acted here the way a neighbor should? The priest, you'll say, was not the one. He hurried right on by. Nor did the Levite help the man. He seemed afraid to try. The good Samaritan, he was the only one to stay. And though the merchant hated him, he helped him anyway. How wonderful if you and I and all God's children would show such a love to all we meet as Jesus said we should. This Jen's getting choked up. <laughs> Anyways, we should all be nice and we should always treat everybody nice. And I'm just going to leave it at that. I hope you guys have a great week. Hope to see you next week. Miss Jen loves you and misses you. Mwah, mwah.